Hey everybody, in case you missed me, I haven't been online for two days, it's the weekend. Um, and I explained in my journey that I was sick and I took the weekend to rest up. And I went to bed early and I slept in and I got my rest. I'm feeling like my back old self, like back to bouncy old me. So today is day 77. In case you notice, my hair and my clothes are the same. I'm making both these videos back to back. And I still have that hair in my eye. It's like, what is it? Okay, it's gone. So day 77, this is um, uh, eight days of uh, helpful habits. So today is day five, three more after this. So um, today is all about your brain. What would your thoughts have about this? Well, um, you may be experiencing a plateau. You may have unrealistic expectations. You may feel that you don't have what it takes to lose weight. You may feel that um, many times you tried things in the past and they haven't worked out for you. Um, maybe not. Maybe you're not thinking that you can feel motivated. So I guess I'm here to talk about putting a behavior in a positive direction because you don't want negative thoughts because negative thoughts will produce negative results. Positive thoughts, positive results. To manage your thoughts. Um, tonight, for example, maybe give you a thought. Um, I went for a walk. I needed to get moving. And every day this week, I had a reason why I wasn't walking. I was sick. I was in bed for three days. I managed to make videos, I don't know how. I probably look like Hal warmed over, but anyway, whatever. I don't know what made me say that. I don't know. But hey, I agree. Some days I'm good days. Some days I'm bad days. I know I have stringy hair. And whether you think this is a bad day or not, today was my day off. And I shower every day. This is showered hair. <laughs> I've embraced my, my stringy hair. This is natural. I don't know what to do. It just is. That's just the way it is. Um, so, so let's see what else is negative thoughts. Um, plateaus. Uh, one time um, I had my board and I didn't have the weight I wanted, the numbers I wanted. And I was expecting big numbers. And when you start your journey, I mean, my first week I think I lost eight pounds and nine pounds. I had people lose 10 pounds their first week. When you're big and there's a lot of fluid, there's a lot of chemicals, expect big results. And that results will go from eight, seven, six, like the next three weeks are huge. I think I lost like 20 pounds in like three to four weeks. I mean, it just was huge. It just fell off. <laughs> and I have to laugh about that because then it, then it plateaus. And then you've done everything, everything right. Your water, your exercise, your food. There was nothing. You're 100%. Then the scale says, eh, nah, whatever. And then when I have to look at it, it's like, I expect it bigger. And so I did, I did look at my um, journal. And I did talk to my coach. And he said, I don't know where I went wrong. I did everything I I possibly could like where did I go wrong so so let's well let's look at your food and we found I, don't, I can't remember it was 11 or 14 errors that's how many errors and if you think about how many meals do you have seven times three is 21 that is um, two-thirds of my meals I was making mistakes and uh, so they had to be corrected I'm trying to think what some of the mistakes were. But my cereal had sugar in it. And I, my coach said, go to the store, try to find one without sugar. And there was only one out of everything. Because remember, I'm diabetic. Sugar is not good for me. And so um, what else? My fruit, there's different size apples. And tonight, my favorite apple um, is Gala, by the way. And I had to buy organic apples tonight because that was the only one available. And it was like almost $8. Um, 
but I could have bought a more inexpensive one for three fifty. But I don't know if it's my gallon's my favorite, and I like it because it's sweet. And secondly, it's because they're small; they're like the size of my hand, right? And then um, the other apples were they weren't abundant; there was less in it for a cheaper bay. And so that apple was double. So when you think about it, uh, you're you're having double fruit. And you got to be be mindful because there's large oranges and the large oranges I cut in half. You know, the big ones you pay for almost like a dollar. So now I just buy a bag and buy the smaller ones. If I'm going to have oranges. Bananas. Some bananas are small. Some bananas are larger. So you're one and a half. And men don't have to worry about that because they can have double orange, right? They can have double apple. They can have one and a half banana. But for me, remember, I'm petite. You can't see how tall I am here but I'm not even 5'5 five five. and I may look like I'm tall because of my heels but um, I don't need all that food and you got to be proportionate to where you are in your journey and your body and if you don't know what your dietary requirements are I'm not a nutritionist I'm just obsessed with the food um, you need to see a certified nutritionist for me I had to get a coach I also see a nutritionist at the hospital just because that's where the nutritionist is. I had my doctor send me there and we analyzed my food. And I rather enjoy the conversations because anybody who's in the uh, weight loss industry, they're not overweight. And I'm thinking, what do you do? How come you don't suffer from being overweight? You know, you don't, you're fine. And some people never have a problem with it. I'm not one of these people. I struggle. <laughs> I love food. I struggle. That's why I'm here for 100 days. And and I'm going to get through this. I promised myself that I would get the body I feel that's in me that I want. you got to want it so bad. Anyway, this has gone on longer than I want it to because I want to be positive about it. And even though life's going to throw curveballs at you, mine decided to knock me on my ass and... I was almost taken, taken by ambulance. That's how bad my stomach was. And I said, I'm one of the most healthiest people I know. How does this happen? Well, the doctor says there's a virus going around, and I guess I got it. So there's a stomach virus, and what can you do? Nothing. It's just a door you got to go through. I'm hoping this makes a lot of sense. See you tomorrow. Press like, subscribe, and notification because it helps me a lot if what I'm saying makes any sense to you. I'm hoping you enjoy hearing me and subscribe. Let me know. Tell me you're a new subscriber. See you tomorrow.